In mid-4th century Egypt, a government official owned a towering slave named Moses, who would work and manage his estate while the official did likewise for the empire under Pharaoh. Volatilely mixed with his large frame, though, was Moses' vicious demeanor that eventually led to his expulsion due to charges of theft and murder. He set out across the Nile Valley in criminal enterprise as he spread terror and violence with an army of upwards 75 bandits that he had assembled and now led. On one heist, his presence was alerted to by a barking dog that sent Moses into failed retreat. Obsessing over his defeat, he swore vengeance on the owner and plotted another attempt at malice. As Moses swam the river near the estate with his knife in his teeth, the owner was again alerted to his approach and hid before his arrival. With his temper ablaze, Moses slaughtered and drove away his sheep in consolation, but then realized the authorities would be in search of him, so he decided to take shelter at a nearby monastery. Moses was overcome by the monks' welcome and intrigued by their dedication to seeking God. Moses eventually decided to stay for good and took steps towards renouncing his old ways. But Moses' conversion was slow. While he quickly left the former life of thievery, after some time at the monastery he was frustrated by his progress towards perfection. Abbot, and now Saint Isadora, took Moses to the roof of the monastery to watch the sunrise. As the gray morning began to fill with color, he said to Moses, Only slowly do the rays of sun drive away the night and usher in a new day. And thus, only slowly does one become a perfect contemplative. Moses eventually dawned and excelled in the spiritual life and became an effective leader in the community, which was rumored at times to have the same number of his band of thieves in his previous life. When a monk had committed a fault one day, Moses was called to discern an appropriate punishment. When he refused, the brothers pressed him again for his attendance. Moses showed up at the door of his callers with a half-empty sack leaking sand out behind him, and he said, My sins run out behind me, and I cannot see them. But today, I come to judge my brother. After seeing this, the others forgave their confrey. Moses led a colony of hermits in the desert, and eventually became a priest. Early in the 5th century, it was reported that a band of thieves was approaching the monastery he led. The brothers wanted to ward them off, but he told them to lay down their arms and to retreat, leaving eight men behind, including Moses, who was now 75 years old. The remaining few greeted the robbers lovingly, as Moses had been greeted many years before. They were unfortunately, though, granted their martyrdom in return.